My name is David Kimanti. Um, I'm a Kenyan. And um, I'm happy to talk about uh, human, human Capital Hotel and Tourism Training Institute. Uh, this is an institute that uh, is geared towards improving the skills and capacity for the people working in hospitality industry in Kenya. Uh, I've been in the industry for the last uh, 10 years, both locally and uh, internationally. Uh, my background has been, I've been a human resource manager um, in hotels in Kenya, um, hotels in Zanzibar, and hotels in, in Middle East. Um, later, I, I fell in love with the training, especially in hospitality industry, uh, where I started training in a, in a very small scale. Before my employer, I realized that I had a, I had a passion for training, and I was moved from uh, from being a human resource manager to head uh, a group training and development uh, function in a, in a five star hotel, a group that has uh, eight eight units in the in the, the region. So the training became a part and a parcel of the business of the hotel. And uh, we developed uh, training programs in all the eight hotels. We had departmental trainers who helped us to, to reach the training to the, to the, 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 the job doers of the job. Then after that, I, I realized that uh, I, would, I would do a CHT. When I sat uh, for the CHT, at first I didn't know what to do. Uh, later, I called a lady called uh, Caroline of uh, South Africa. And she gave me a hint on how they have done it. They gave me a hint of how they have done it. And uh, I enrolled with American Hotel and Lodging Education Institute. Um, uh, I passed the preliminaries of, uh, of admission. I did the application, I was given the admission, and the uh, materials were sent to me. And there I was to study and become a certified hospitality trainer. Um, I didn't know how the exam would look like, I didn't know how, where to start. And uh, one thing I called a friend also in the US uh, who told me, David, you have the ability, I've gone through your CV, and you can, you can even pass without even, uh, even, even uh, thinking about uh, what to do. So I studied for about uh, six months. And uh, I used to put a lot of effort on areas I knew I was not very strong at. For instance, the things to do with the delivery of the training program, the issue to do with uh, things like uh, assessment, uh, things like uh, evaluating training. And all those things, uh, I came to understand what they meant to, tra to, to a training program. And uh, there was, when the time for exam came, I, I, did my exam and, and I passed with uh, about 85 percent, which was good to me. So I went into now to training fully. Uh, by then I was working as a human resource manager in Zanzibar. The, the government of Zanzibar somehow they got to know about me and they started inviting me to talk about training in hospitality. So I used to uh, 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 attend government functions, talk about training in hospitality because um, Zanzibar has uh, the, the number of guests that they receive in a year is amazing, but service is very, is very, is very, is very, you know, not to that standard. So by the time I was leaving Zanzibar, coming back to Kenya to start uh, human capital, I was really hot for, for, this, for this thing. And at uh, the same time, I started talking to American Hotel and Lodging Institute, Mm -hmm. where Mr. Aitok started exchanging emails and uh, we, it reached a point that the going became very tough and uh, had to abandon the whole thing and uh, we had to start writing again and one morning I, I just thought, no, this can't stop here. I wrote again an email to Mr. Aid and uh, only reason to receive an email that David, we've considered a developing nation and uh, we've waived the, the registration sense. and uh, what we've given you, we've given you a half of the, of the maintenance mm -hmm. and you actually pay the second year, not even the first year, the second year 
And that was, uh, that was uh, unbelievable. I just saw my dream uh, coming true. And then uh, there he sent me an pl- application form. I did the application form. I forwarded uh, to, 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 to him. The process was done. And uh, on 16th uh, of May, the contract uh, was signed. So to me, that's, a, that's an achievement that I can see in my life. And uh, it's something that I've, I've been thinking about it, I've been praying about it, I've been dreaming about it for the last three, four years. And uh, the, country, the country will have a big, a big uh, impact for the presence of American Hotel and Lodging Education Institute. Because we'll have, people will no longer worry where to, how to get certified. People will no longer worry how to get uh, the skilled manpower for the hotels. People will never worry about the, the, the customer service. Uh, the hotels program, the, the, the institute programs will answer the Kenyans' problem that we've been having of service delivery. And to us, the job has started, and uh, we just hit the road and make sure that uh, every corner of this country knows what American Hotel and Lodging Education is all about, and they have participated in success of this, uh, this, this dream. And where are you located, David? I'm located in Mombasa. Yeah. Mombasa is one of the uh, holiday destinations in, in the country. Uh, that's where we have ma- majority of the hotels that are uh, tourism-oriented. Uh, in Nairobi, the capital city, but you find that most of the tourists in Nairobi, they are business, the business segment. But when we talk about the, 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 the tourist segment, um, cultural segment, um, you find them in Bombasa. So um, we are very strategic, strategically placed in Nairobi, I mean in Mombasa. Uh, our institution, you'll find it at, when you reach to Mombasa, the first thing you'll find is the elephant tusks. When you get to the elephant tusks in Mombasa, that's where our institution is. Um, it's, it's the road heading to the gateway of Mombasa, Kilindini, uh, where the, 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 it's a gateway to the East Africa community. This this, uh, having this certification to run these courses, uh, not only to Kenya, but to East Africa, the really benefit. Because like in Kenya, most, most of people who are working in East Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, and Southern Sudan, all the manpower, 90% of the manpower, they come from Kenya. So you can imagine how angry people are there looking for knowledge. They want to be trained. They want the, the skill to be, you know, to, to, to avoid uh, 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 importing our skills when they can still generate skills within them. So it's, it's, it's a blessing to have this. And I thank uh, the, the, the Vice President of uh, Africa. Um, the, the good job he's doing. He has been with me, uh, you know, encouraging me and all that. So, um, this is a journey that has started together, and definitely will go places. Thank you, David. We're so glad to have you on board, and, and good luck to you. Thank you. We know you'll do well.